Hello and welcome back to Dishonored 2. We were just hearing somebody maybe noticing us. That's not so unlikely in this game. We all know that, but um, yeah, we're just gonna leave now because apparently we picked everything up. That was surprisingly easy. We cleaned almost out the whole place. Just on the street there's some soldiers left. I didn't open any door. The hell? Oh, I know where we are. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a way to leave. Am I outside now? I'm very confused. I might be not outside. But I can't. Oh. Then ever so slightly, it grew to be large as a This is turned off now. Ugh, I'm hungry. Can eat something. Don't even know what I turned off here to be honest. Yeah, there's somebody. I really wonder how I get through the streets now. Maybe this way. Maybe. So, just sitting here. Hoping that was smart. Oh shit, whoa. Someone there? Just one fork. Should we try that now, right? Go away, go away, turn around, turn around. And you're dead. <laughs> oh, well. do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. That's close. This whole business has me on hands and ears. Jumpy as anything. Okay. Don't look to me. No. Mm -hmm. Hehe. Huh? <laughs> now they should follow me. Because they die here. There was another one I remember. Ah, oh, the skiff is this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three! Woof! Why? Why is it not lit? Oh. Wasn't it? There's so many. Huh? Huh? Nothing, huh? It's just me trying to sneak out of this place. Okay. Through the 
jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps to know. Mm. That's a health thing. Ah, screw it. Too much trouble. I just want to kill Biak. Hello, everybody. Um. Hello. Can I get? Can I? Can I come out? Out of the water, please. Ah, thank you. Hi. Yeah, I think we got everything. Just in case, check. Yeah, that's all. Good. Archive key, security room key, imperial ring. Nice. Okay. So it's done. Yes. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. I took Good. care of but her. But Corvo, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. He's been a you bad girl. enough that happens. Yeah. But what I did is worse than most. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret, Corvo. Deception doesn't make for good allies, Foster. Is that what you think, Royal Protector? You will have to tell me all your secrets someday. I don't think so. Are you ready to leave now? Yes. Let's go back to the Dreadful Whale. Yeah. Yes, let's go. Take me back to the Dreadful Whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos. And Delilah. Hi, right, the Duke. Yeah. Lethal and Assault. Woo! On the max. Lethal. No serious civilians. That's, that's not bad. Hostiles killed. Total killed. Merciful. That's not gonna happen. Stealth. One alarm only. 11... <laughs> 30 detections. Yeah, that... Ghost. Damn. That's gonna be tough. Runes. Yes. Shrines. One butcher. Hmm. Strange. Yeah, over 1,000 coin. It's... They're so spread. Paintings. I got them all. Blueprints. One missing. Okay, fair enough. And special actions. Spying overseers. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna read, no, we're gonna continue. Yes, please, back to the dreadful whale. Mm -hmm. Three years ago, Delilah was laying her plans. The Duke's people gathered at the home of a mine baron named Aramis Stilton to commit some horror in her name. I need to know how they made her immortal. But where was I three years ago? Letting Emily daydream through council meetings, teaching her fencing and back alley fighting. I always expected an enemy we could put down with a sword. Soldiers, spies, assassins. Instead we got something else, beyond the pale. Beyond the natural world, instead we got hit by someone like me. Yeah, very self-critical. Let's see, back on the boat. I guess there's an entry to right into our dear diary. Mm -hmm. Confer with your allies. We will in a second. First we have to write. Shoop, 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 shoop. That's district. That's new. What happened three years ago? Brianna Ashworth and Delilah were infiltrating the minds of the sisters of the Oracular Order, influencing the visions they sent to the High Overseer and through him to all the Abbey faithful across the Empire. But I put a stop to that. That is true. We did. I must admit, I'm impressed by Delilah's delusions of grandeur. Is she dreaming of being worshipped the way some occultists worship the outsider? I'm worried about what 
I'll find back in Dunwell. I hope Emily is alright. She's in stone, right? Anyway, Ashworth is no longer with uh, a witch. Her connection to the void magic is broken. Hopefully now the Lighter, co the lighter Coven in Kanaka will be broken. I also learned that Ashworth organized some kind of seance for Delilah three years ago. I'm getting close to understanding Delilah's immor immortality. It happens in the manner of a mine... It happened in the manner of a mine baron named Aaron Stilton. I'll pay him a visit. Still not the Duke. Aramis Stilton. Okay, Aramis. Megan Foster. Megan Foster admitted that she knew Brianna Ashworth from years back. Ashworth, who has been part of the Lila's Coven of Witches for a long time. I can't quite put it all together, but there's something. I've noticed Megan won't look me in the eye. I want to trust her and I'm grateful for her help, but I do. But do I really know anything about her? Can't sleep. My father died when I was so young, and I hated him for it. Of all things, a lumber accident. It seemed like such a foolish end. I could never forgive him. I hated him for leaving me without a father. As if it was the worst thing in the world. Now, I know better. It's taken all this time to understand. It's so much worse to lose a child. Emily, I'm coming for you no matter what. I will come for you. Yes, we will come. That is for sure. Okay. No outsiders opening. Nice. Okay. Let's confer with our allies. And then... Oh! It's empty. Okay, let's confer with our allies. Wait. Some eavesdropping? Listen to me. Talking myself like the old loon I am. Okay. Megan is out in the city, but I'll explain. Okay. Cool. Thank you, my friend. Start briefing. Oh, hello. It's us. That's the so many years. I never expected to feel. So tired. Huh. I came to Karnaka for the food and the clean <laughs> air. Now this understandable. Okay, let's see here, old man. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Yes. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. Maybe. But I have to get there first, through a ruin created by the Duke, where I used to live. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy. They'll treat you like family. So that gives me at least one way into Aramis Stilton's house. I'm pretty sure that will work. Interesting. But who? Coming back here, seeing it changed, run into the ground. Some people have reached beyond others. Uh, what's gift to the dust district? The old Batista neighborhoods. Full of mining families. Hmm. Called the Dust District now. Hmm. I knew plenty of people like Paolo growing up. Maybe not as crafty. Vice Overseer Burn. I dread each interaction with the Abbey. But who to kill? If I put people to work down in a mine, I'd want to live in a fortified bunker too. Huh. That is done. No more witches in Karnaka. <laughs> Except one super witch. But she's in Dunwell. Yeah. Um, before we leave, uh, I'd say we eat some dark bread. But no, 
Um, we're still alone here. Ooh. That wasn't up before. Nice, nice. Something to eat, always good. Where are the others? I mean, Megan seems to be in, in town, he said. Not from Sokolov. Korvo! It's true. I don't tinker with the mechanics advice much more, much anymore, but I'm not so old as to be useless and just yet. Behold, I fashioned a little contrivance for you, using only parts scavenged from the wretched vessel. Yes, all right, a few bits were currently in use, but I assure you none <laughs> were involved in keeping us afloat. Say nothing to Megan, as her disposition needs no further soaring. In any case, may this device serve you well, so call off. Device spring eraser. Um, is that the device? I thought something fancier. I thought I got something new. Mm. Jindosh. Hmm, there that is. Cool. Okay. Still, thank you. Thank you, old man. Thank you. Yes, um, there's nothing more to do, not sure well, board skiff for the dust district. Yeah, but the question still is, who should we take out, the Abbey guy or the overseers? <clears throat> I feel like the overseers, but the Abbey guys are not much better. Are you driving? What's that? It's me. Hello? Are we senile? Did Jindosh do you no good? I understand. The weather has changed. The weather's nicer. Very nice. Ooh, so much sunshine. Very beautiful. Very pixely. <laughs> Ooh. Well. Very nice. Okay. But. This is gonna happen in the next episode, as you all assumed, and we will see each other then and talk later, because I have to stop now and start cutting again. Bye bye and bye.